Hi, this is Angelo Cataldi here at 94 WIP. We are very proud of the 21 years we've held Wing Bowl. And you're about to see one of the most amazing radio promotions in America today. Take a look. Before Sunday Super Bowl, there's always Philadelphia's Wing Bowl. It's the 21st year. Our sister station, 94 WIP, co-sponsors this competition where men try to eat their way to a championship and also a car, cash, mm -hmm. a ring. You are here. I love your chicken wing hat. Thank you very much. Is this your first Wing Bowl? No. Uh, clearly not. Expect some sauce and some sweat this morning. Wing Bowl 21 takes place in just hours. Wing Bowl 21, as you guys know, at, after 6 o'clock this morning, uh, the Wells Fargo Center will turn into a hot mess. The most infamous gathering of gluttony in Philadelphia is underway this morning. It's Wing Bowl time. Well, we figure one day a year, everybody could let their hair down a little, have some fun. This year, wow. We got, this is the first time we got a city, we got like a rooting interest, like if it's a Flyers or an Eagles team, because it's Philadelphia against all of our big sports rivals. We got guys here from Dallas and Washington and New York, and we want to beat them all. Now, this year, what's going to be interesting, John Dorenboss, the long snapper for the Philadelphia Eagles, he is our commissioner. Hey, go big or go home. I was told the commission has to carry a big stick. Here it is. Wing Bow 21 kicked off like it always does with a parade of contestants surrounded by a bevy of beauties. 20,000 people came to watch the annual chicken chewing competition at the Wells Fargo Center. Now it's time to compete. Take a look behind me. The first round of competition is already underway. All 27 contestants on the stage trying to eat their way to victory. We've heard uh, talk of a chicken wing shortage, but that certainly wasn't the case. In Philadelphia on Friday, about 20,000 people turned out for Wing Bowl 21. Don't like sports, you don't like the Super Bowl, check out the Wing Bowl. These guys right here, they competed for cash and a new car by showing their intestinal fortitude by eating as many spicy wings as possible. This year was different because the contestants weren't all local. Chicago, D.C., Boston, and New York were all represented. But the front runner was Jonathan Super Squib, a local guy and three-time champion. But after three rounds, the winner was James the Bear McDonald, from New England. He inhaled, get this, 287 wings in 30 minutes. Ew. Winner has been crowned at the 21st annual Wing Bowl, and this year the title went to an out-of-towner. A chorus of boos for the out-of-towner Wing Bowl 21 champion, Jamie the Bear McDonald from Connecticut, won the crown by a margin of five wings. His ability to stretch his stomach around 287 of them earned him $20,000 and a $7,500 Steven Singer ring to adore his wing-eating fingers. People were a little disappointed that you won because you're not our hometown guy. You understand that. Oh, I can, I can completely understand it, but for me, it's about the glory of the wing bowl. He said he planned to celebrate by eating some Philly cheesesteaks, <laughs> really? which is why they call him the bear. Yeah, they should be, shouldn't he celebrate by eating some Tums? <laughs> You'd think. But it was Dave, U.S. male Goldstein from Voorhees, who chewed his way to the top of the local category. Wow. The top local winner will win a 2013 uh, Nissan Pathfinder. As for the wingettes, they cheered, they encouraged, and the winner of their competition rode home on a Harley. But I did win the Harley. I'm so <laughs> well, the eating has ended at Wing Bowl. Well, the bellies of the competitors settle. It was an arrival of a different competitor that stole the show. New Eagles head coach Chip Kelly arrives with the delight of 20,000 fans. Yo, Philly! My favorite part of the whole thing is when these guys talk afterwards about the X's and O's that go into eating the wings. The guy, One of the guys actually talking today about, well, I changed from going to the one-hand bite and rip to the split and go and... and <laughs> like this is yeah. terrific. So it, it has it has legitimized itself as a sport. As you can see, Wing Bowl is a tremendous way to spotlight your business and deliver your message in a unique, exciting, and highly visible way. There isn't an event in Philadelphia or the world like it. Twenty thousand attendees, hundreds of thousands of listeners, millions of hits online. Take it from me, Angela. Call your account executive here at WIP to be a part of an amazing event and an awesome opportunity. You don't want to miss out.